Hi, Assalamu alaikum. My name is Nur Fatihah binti Zaina and my ID student is 2018-200398. Today, I will deliver my research project presentation for final years. Topic given is Exploring Human Resource Management Practices in Majlisukan Negeri Johor. Presentation outline is Introduction, Literature Review, Methodology, Research Findings, Discussion and References. We go to the first slide, Background Study. Human Resource Management Practices, HRMP, was played as role mediating variable between the human resource strategy and human resource performance by Hassasi et al. 2017. Based on previous research, findings show a positive relationship between efficiency and effectiveness of human resource planning strategy, testing and uh, appointment strategy technique of personal appointment evaluation and training strategy. A way of suspect company may be able to leverage on its HRM practices as a source to reach competitive advantage and motive employee performance. Problem statement. The first problem statement is the over issue among employee. The next problem of this research is the over issue is highest percentage in private sector. But this problem also occur in the government sector with the low frequency rate. The next problem is current issue how MSNJ Sport Administration was successfully bid for being Sukma host Malaysia 2022. We go to the next slide research objective. In my study, I have come up with two resource objectives. First is to identify the main human resource management practices as perceived by MSN Joho employees. Second is to determine the differences of human resource management practices by MSN Joho based on the gender. I will focus on this five domain of human resource management practices which is recruitment and selection, training and development, reward, performance appraisal, and participant and communication. Significant study is identify which HRM practices benefit more to the organization. This element will give a positive impact on employer to plan which management is preferred by employee in order to improve their performance. The research is necessary to determine the difference of human resource management practices among MSNJ employees based on gender. Throughout this study, the government, especially this organization, will have an in-deep understanding about the context of human resource management practices. Third is seek employee feedbacks and opinions on the ideal HRM practices. They can provide a suggestion for improve that the employee want from the employer to achieve the favorable result for both parties. For the literature review, according to OB 2015, HRM is more concerned with of control of human being is an institution in order to make the goal and objective of an organization. From the previous research, the results have shown that effective HRM will give the positive impact on the uh, organization and the uh, employees by Wilco 2016. This is theory and model in HRMP. Uh, first one is matching model, second is social exchange theory, third is self-determination theory, and fourth is Harvard model. For summary in this theory, uh, the matching model is the best and suitable in my uh, research study. Research design. In this study, I use descriptive research design. Often, the researcher use causal comparative when they want to differentiate the variable. 
the character is cannot be manipulated where is unethical. Like in my study, I try to determine the differences between human resource management practices based on the gender. Same thing, target population. The target population is employee in MS and Joho, who the sum of the employee is 86 employees by unit pentadbiran MS and J. Number of sampling, the number has taken is 18 for respondent. The reason is because the regarding to the table Kriji and Morgan 1970, the estimate sample need to be taken from the total number of actual population is 70, but and it will add a 20% sample in about to drop out. Sampling technique. In my research, I use simple random sampling. This is because this sample has an equal probability of being selected sample. To perform this technique, in my research, I was blast the questionnaire through email employee MSN Joho. We go to the instrumentation. Questionnaire was developed by the author Badger 2014. The questionnaire consists of two sections, section A and a section B. A section A consists of one demography item only, which is a gender. Section B cover of HRM practices uh, represented by 26 item. Item consists of five factors, which is uh, recruitment and selection, training and development, performance appraisal, rewards and uh, participation and communication. All the items in the section B were raised on five point liquid scale for my rating from 1 strongly disagree and to 5 strongly agree. This is my result for Chromebase Alpha for 5 domain. Data collection procedure. First, I apply for ethical approval from UITM. Then after I get uh, my approval from UITM Shawam, I give uh, a short briefing to the respondent for explain purpose on the study before them answer of this uh, survey. The questionnaire was distributed to the sample through the email employee MSN Joho. Lastly, the collect of questionnaire. The result was have been saved into my Google Drive. The data analysis for the R01 uh, is to identify the main human resource management practices as perceived by MSN Joho employees. I was used descriptive statistics, which is descriptive frequency. For the second RO is to determine the difference of human resource management practices among MSN Joho based on gender. I was used independent t test. We go to the result. This is my result finding for descriptive statistics of gender. From the result, we can see that the male are the highest as perceived human resource management practices, which is a uh, 48 respondent with 57.1%. Meanwhile, for the female employees are uh, 36 respondent with 42.9% respondent in the survey are also involved. From all domain at the table, it was shown that the participant and communication would mean 4.178 seat and the standard deviation is 0.5101 show that the main uh, human resource management practices as a perceived among uh, employee MSNG. Second highest is a reward with the mean uh, 4.03 Five seven and the standard derivation is zero point four nine nine seven. Third is recommend and selection with the mean three point eight zero six five and the standard derivation is zero point six nine nine. Okay, let's go to the next result uh, that I have interpret from the study. They have a uh, three significant result. Uh, which p-value is less than 2 alpha 0.05. Firstly, is recruitment and selection. Male mean is 3.7292 and the standard derivation is 0.39. And a female mean 
is 3.3403 and the standard derivation is 0.65. The p-value is 0.001. The second significant in this study is training and development. Male mean is 3.7292 and the standard derivation is 0.39. And female mean is 3.4722 and the standard derivation is 0.48. The p-value is 0.008. Third significant is performance appraisal. Male mean is 3.3260 and the uh, uh, standard derivation for uh, male is 0.65 and a female mean is 3.9444 and the standard derivation is 0 0.70. The p-value is 0 0.006. The discussion for my R01, the result was show that the participant and communication have become the main human resource management practices accepted among employees at a Majlis Sukan Negeri Johor. This result was in line with the other research, research study by Ayuri Bay and Michael 2019. They claim that a good communication may help the organization to maintain and develop the harmony uh, situation in the workplace. In Majlis Sukan Negeri Johor, they usually do the meeting and the discussion uh, for one session uh, per week to ensure that the employee gather with the works uh, and the top uh, official uh, management will uh, give the employee opportunity for express their opinions, uh, their ideas to re uh, regarding the topic of uh, discussion at the time. We go to the next discussion for RO2. There is significant on uh, recruitment and selection, training and development and performal appraisal for this study. It's according to the gender. For the first one is recruitment and selection. The gender difference can be partly explained by biological causes by Gustafson 2018. Uh, women had a uh, capacity to have uh, children and were uh, physically weaker than men because of their uh, smaller body. This factor lead to work at home while male possess masculine feature uh, like uh, self-confidence, uh, typically re uh, related to strength and power more. Second significant of the result is training and development. Through their uh, examination of the glass ceiling idea by Oral Green, Iyayi Ehafona, 2011, they show that in capacity of a woman is higher in management position. Mm. They, uh, the, the, place, uh, the position is limited and they are obstacle in uh, uh, joining to training and development. Often they require staff to participate in the planning activity. Third is performance appraisal. Female employees are more likely to be evaluated by the employer because uh, they have a value of quality works need and stand out uh, in uh, completing uh, the task compared to the male employee. This result was spotted by other researchers from the David uh, Becky, Mittal and Fahad 2015. They view that the women uh, performance appraisals uh, approach to have uh, be more successfully than men. We move to the recommendation of this study. The future researcher need to expand the study in all MSN in Malaysia because uh, they have a variation of the view of employee to the organization is different in each state. And uh, the number of the respondent is quite large compared to this uh, study. Second is proposed to improve the tools and methodology for the future study. Uh, the researcher can also use the method of uh, interview respondent to make the main data material uh, other uh, than conduct the survey. Third is the other researcher can add more the domain of the human resource management practices in uh, an organization to see if, the, if there are any difference in human resource management practices based on the gender.
In conclusion, the study was conducted to identify the main human resource management practices among employees in Majlis Sukan Negeri Johor and to determine the differences of human resource management practices uh, among MS and Johor employees based on the gender. There are three results I have uh, the significant difference of uh, HRMP among uh, MS and Johor employees based on the gender which is uh, for the first one is recruitment and selection uh, second is training and development and third uh, is pro forma at present uh, for the overall the researcher have uh, achieved uh, the objective of the study on the HRM practices among MS and Johor employees that's all for me thank you stay at home hashtag kita jaga kita